The festival, which celebrates the rich cultural heritage of the Nama people, attracted people from all walks of life. Being held under the theme, Unity is Our Strength, the annual event aims to restore the dignity and pride of the Nama people. A parade march led by the police brass band through the streets of the southern town of Kirtmanswip preceded the opening ceremony. At the festival, Christine Goebes, Presidential Affairs Minister, read a speech on behalf of the President. If we understand each other better in our souls, then it will be easier to overcome any economic and political barriers that may exist in our society. As Namibians, we should strive to understand that ultimately we are all alike and share the same problems, aspirations and dreams. Thus, the answer to solving our problems and achieving our aspirations lies in unity and the holding of hands across all cultural lines. Also speaking at the event was Clara's governor, Aleta Fried. Namibia has a fascinating diversity in culture, which splits the country into 11 ethnic groups. This requires tolerance from us to accommodate people from different social settings to maintain our motto, One Namibia, One Nation. And this is what some of those attended the festival had to say. Inculcate a sense of belonging to each and every Nama here in Namibia and also in the diaspora. We have learned uh, a lot at the cultural festival yesterday, at the uh, panel discussions yesterday. I was at the, uh, I joined the panel discussion, which I, I, I think the topic that was running yesterday is a very, very important topic. Especially for us who are coming from Botswana, the transgenerational trauma uh, that the Namas have been put through, especially due to the issue of genocide, we are still feeling the repercussions. The other thing is to be part of our Nama cultural festival is um, to learn more about our heritage, our uh, uh, things. The, 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 the younger generation seems to forget where we come from. The festival, which also gave an opportunity to entrepreneurs to showcase and trade their traditional handicrafts, clothes, cuisine, will end with an economical worship service on Sunday. Traditional leaders from Botswana and South Africa also attended the opening ceremony. Luke Pantluta, NBC News, Ketmanzua.